So check it out. This is Vivo's multifunctional steel garden cart. And they carry stuff. Lots of stuff. This actually is one of the better garden carts I've ever owned. Let's take a closer look at it. So here's everything, unboxed, unpacked, laid out on the table, ready to assemble. Let's take a closer look at each of the components. You get 10 inch pneumatic wheels. These are pretty robust, ready to go over anything. Here you have the steel mesh side walls, very well built, powder coated, welded, strong as. The base frame is quite good as well, it's a nice large size. It's also got some threaded studs on which you'll mount your turning axle and wheel frames. And this is the turning axle right here. It's got a nice long handle with a sponge grip, nice and soft. It's got a two to two and a half mil rubber floor mat. And it comes with all your parts and bolts and all the things that you need to put it together. The manual is very well written, lots of pictures, well laid out and easy to understand. It's a breeze to put this thing together. Check it out how long it took me. And voila, we are done. I actually enjoyed putting this thing together. So here we have the Vivo Mesh Garden Cart. The model is CJ-022. So, what do I think about it? What's my honest opinion? Well, okay, first of all, let's run through this uh, cart. This cart can carry about 225 kilograms according to the specifications, so that's pretty good. Inside dimensions, 480 millimeters from the end to the head is 930 millimeters, 220 millimeters in height. 10 inch pneumatic tires, they're pretty good size for this size of car, they do the job just fine. It is made out of steel, just having a quick look underneath, this is what you're looking at, it's all mesh like this that's been welded together the turning mechanism is right here so that's how you steer it you have here in the handle a plastic component in which the handlebar is fixed by simply one bolt the back wheels remain in a fixed position the wheels themselves they attach via a washer and one of these split pins the handle itself has just a nice little spongy part just to make it a little bit more comfortable upon your nice little soft hands. Side walls, they open and close simply by lifting it up, okay, and it comes apart. I like how it just drops down. How good is that? If you want to remove any of the doors, you simply lift it up and you pull out these linch pins just like that and just like that and off it comes. You can do that all the way around and then suddenly you have a flatbed trolley or a cart. So that's pretty cool. Let me just put this back. So it's all quite nice and quick, really, depending on what your need is. You know, do you need a flatbed trolley? Do you need one that's got walls? Well, this has you covered, right? I like inside, it's got a floor mat. This is like about a two or a two and a half mil thickness rubber floor mat. Plonk it in and it keeps the base all neat and tidy and protected from any damage. Maneuverability is as is expected with a front steering mechanism like this. It really does manoeuvre anywhere. The only thing I will say is that I think what they could have done a little bit better is bring the front steering mount here a little bit further out because let's just say I want to turn it that way okay if I go here it's going to strike there unless if I go low then it goes like that if I have to do a tight zero turn you just got to go lower otherwise you know it, you're going to strike it hey it's no deal breaker in terms of everything else well you know it's a garden cart what else do you want this thing to do it carries stuff for you you know you load things in and you cart it around 
it does the job brilliantly I think for this particular purpose it's pretty solid duty to take 225 kilos that's a fair amount of weight you know if you need anything stronger well you gotta pay more and get something a little bit more heavy duty this is still pretty good for what I want to carry around you know I might, might carry my bricks over there or I'm going to load up my firewood soon and just to carry stuff is perfect what I see this is not for it's not for chucking in dirt because of the mesh walls so this is not a wheelbarrow if you want a wheelbarrow mate get a wheelbarrow this is a garden cart for garden cart purposes it'll do the job just fine in terms of noise well listen so you know in terms of noise it's going to rattle a little bit mate that's life you know you're working outside you don't care about a little bit of noise you're not after a stealthy silent garden cart you're after a workhorse this opens up nice and neatly so my opinion of this is i think it's pretty good value you know vivo have a good garden cart here with mesh walls we're going to be using this a lot in the outdoors here i hope you found this video helpful and just this review and putting this together hope you enjoyed it give the video a thumbs up if you're interested in buying one of these from vivo well i'll place a link in the description and you'll get it at five percent discount thank you for watching i'll catch you upon the next one.